shouldn't say it. Don't you always get on to me for saying exactly yeah, what you just said? I, I did. That was super easy, and you thought it was going to be. I said that was, I didn't say, no. I said that was easier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. There it was. Not over yet. All right, guys, so there is a lot of crap that came out of that camper. Who would have thought that that camper would even have this much junk? It smells like, it smells like one of those cheap motels, <laughs> kind of, the ones with the hourly rate. Hourly rate motel, yeah. uh, I odorific. I, we should, I, I wonder if we could bottle it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, how would you know what that yeah, smells I was, like? Yeah, yeah, a little late recording. on the uptake. Stop recording. <laughs> <Cut>. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome to Best Family Homestead. So, uh, today we uh, already have the camper moved to a temporary location. We have some guests coming in here in a few days. And today we are going to be. Getting the wiring hooked up, make sure all the lights and everything work, getting it up and leveled. All right, guys, so me and my wife went this morning thrift shopping and she found this laminate flooring here really for a, a really good price. Well, kind of. We went bargain hunting. There you go. And so I think it's going to look really good. It almost matches the floor in the old house. house. Yeah. Kind of. So it we're going to go be. over how much money we have in this whole project here at the end. We're trying to keep it inexpensive and still functional. found a little wet spot uh, where we moved it and it rained a little bit uh, not before last but luckily I went ahead and found it so before we keep doing any fun work I'm gonna go ahead and get that patched up so I don't have to worry about it later and get that dried out now though all right so we're going to kind of take two on a lot of the work we've done luckily luckily we didn't lose much I've got Robert enlisted some help to come over uh, it rained the other night, not a whole lot, and this thing, you know, I've been in the dry for what, 20 years, something like that. Um, so, probably just the sealant's cracked. It's not going to matter because it's going to get a roof on it. But, before we do anything else, I'm going to fix this corner here, uh, get some more insulation to put in there, put a fan on it, let it dry. While we do that, the really good deal on the floor we got, which is still a good deal, uh, I think because this this floor is not level like a house so it's not wanting to snap in i'm usually a fan of real wood but real wood is very expensive right now so what we're going to do is we're just going to take and cut the little locking lips on this laminate all right guys so like i said what we're going to do here to uh make this flooring work still save some money so we're just going to cut these little locking pieces off and uh Make it where we can just glue it down.
over and over and over until they get all this uh all this trimmed down blow it down and go for it Alright guys, so it's Aiden, and while my dad is out getting some stuff at Lowe's, I will be cleaning the upholstery, because it is um, dirty, as you can tell. Um, So after doing the couch, it didn't make too much of a visible impact, but it definitely smells a whole lot better. Um, because, I mean, this stuff, God only knows when the last time it was cleaned, and it was used by hunters. So, not the prettiest smelling thing. Um, I will do the rest of the cushions, and then probably do another round just to make sure it gets all the nasty grime out i'm gonna probably let it sit for a little bit then come back and clean it and yeah let's get started on these cushions all right so those actually turned it out looking um a little bit better than before um i mean the biggest thing they smell a lot better um, they're a little bit brighter in color, and, um, uh, yeah, I say oh, a lot. I'm thinking. Um, I'm hardworking. I got accepted into Florida Institute of Technology, and will hopefully be going there on an ROTC scholarship. Because, uh, my family, if you can't tell, isn't exactly rich. So we can't afford to pay for college, but ROTC can do that. And I think the military is a good career pathway to go on. Set this. And then y'all should be getting videos on the Jeep here, hopefully in the next week or two. It's almost done. Actually, let's show y'all. Let's show y'all. I'm gonna go show y'all. Um, they kind of did an intro for it beforehand. But, I've decided that it's my Jeep, so I'm going to do my own intro. You can hear the goats out there. So here it is. Here's my baby. That's the 4 liter in it. Um, obviously you can tell this place is a mess, um, it's been a year coming, working on this thing for over a year. I had to put new engine, new transmission, basically rebuild this entire thing from the ground up. Um, the, on the only thing we didn't replace is the axles really. Um, every single other part in this Jeep has been replaced. Um, it's getting new fenders, the doors, 
This door's a little crooked, but I think we can fix that. It got a new back hatch from our buddy way over there. The, this is where Robbie's red jeep is. It is being sewed back onto mine. Um, you can see we took the engine from his and put it in mine. And then we took the transmission from this one and put it in the black one. And y'all should be seeing more videos on the process that it went through. And we will have to get this trailer done soon because my grandparents are coming down and they're going to stay in it. What turned out pretty? Oh, it smells really good in here because of the upholstery cleaner. And yeah, that's that's about it. We got our boxes built in there and now we're going to start making some of the like i was saying the pretty stuff we're going to reuse and what we're reusing is we're going to reuse uh the roof from where the exposing the logs video so we don't want to waste anything and this wood is you know not in the best shape but it's going to be fine for just trim that's not structural Robert was nice enough to uh, let me have some tin. So Robert was nice enough to let me have some tin off the uh, the old smokehouse at the uh, old bird farm, which we're going to now reuse to make some accent pieces uh, for the Beth family Airbnb.
from the 80s. Oh, come on, they're fashion, fashion though. Uh, broken blinds gotta go. Um, we'll put some, uh, what are those things called that my mom likes? The shades, Roman shades. And, yeah. Um, so we can get a little more darkness in here for sleeping and late, not that our in-laws do, but our son probably will. And then we gotta get rid of all, take the old mattress out, clean it. Yeah, I don't think we'll be using this mattress. Nope, that's all gonna come out and go. And then all this carpet's gotta get ripped up so we can replace it with some um, uh, laminate. laminate. Yep, and then we're gonna wipe everything down really good with bleach uh, and clean it up. Eventually we'll rip out a lot of this junk here. All right, guys, so this is gonna be part one for our <clears throat> best family homestead Airbnb. And mom and dad are here, so we got it finished up just in time. <clears throat> we got our little sleeping area here. Tell them what you did. We so got did the floors. 10 on the back, that's from the old bird farm. Redid the floors. We did. We've got director number one over here, uh, as, as you can as you can well hear. So we'll start over here. We'll just let her narrate. Just, okay, fine. So we recovered this, and we put the wood from the porch, reclaimed wood from the um, the walls of the front porch, are there. And then we have a new table, courtesy of our son Aiden. And let's see, we cleaned all this stuff obviously because it was disgusting. Um, There's a. Uh, we have we have vacated uh what was the name? Uh, Mickey. Mickey the mouse. Uh yeah, the the, the yeah, poop yeah, was... and there's no more rat poop. Uh, it smells good in here. It smells much better. Here we got more tin from the old bird farm and more wood from the uh roof of the porch. Like I told you guys we were gonna uh reuse as much as we could. Um all the new flooring. Curtains. Curtains, courtesy of Miss Caroline and our uh privacy privacy curtain there for uh room darkening so a little bit of trim work to do but i think all in all it turned out extremely well um i think all in for everything we've done so far we're at about 225 dollars so uh not bad not bad we uh did some bargain hunting and got the um got the flooring and all at a good price and I think that compared to what it was when we first first brought it to the house. It's a lot better. Yeah. She even's got little snacks and stuff set up for people that come over. All uh, the upholstery cleaned. It's a nice little hut. Yeah, it's uh, definitely nice. Aaron wants to move out here when I'm annoying. I am, I am uh, very tempted to come maybe stay out here part-time love you too baby all right guys well hope y'all enjoy this is part one there's still a lot we're going to do in here uh it's in its temporary location we're going to be doing a whole lot more with it so stay tuned if you want to see what else we do and make sure and uh like hit that subscribe button and share for us and we'll be doing more videos like this thank you this